the lost thing is basically um, a circle and uh, a good rule of thumb with any character that you have to draw lots and lots of times is um, keep it really simple um, in terms of its fundamentals. So it's, it's a ball with a little kind of uh, top which was inspired by teapots and potbelly stoves. Um, these little horns came from um, a dinosaur I used to love as a kid called a Pachycephalosaurus, which is this dinosaur that would had little horns and they'd headbutt each other. And then little kind of, that's its tail. Its claws are quite difficult to draw. I almost regret this part of the design. Got a bit here where the bell hangs off of, and then a little bell ringing section. And they're quite close together, like like he's huddled a little bit. So he's shy, doesn't wave his claws about very much. Certainly doesn't do anything menacing with them. And then everything has to come out of little doors. So, you know, it's like he's, he's has a good defence against the world if, if necessary. You can just tuck everything in. And all these little holes have to have little caps on them so it can almost become watertight. We never really know where it comes from, but I always thought maybe he's a comes from the ocean in some way. And partly this big round shape is inspired by... Um, sea mines that sometimes get, you know, like after, after wartime they would be um, washed up on the beach. And then sort of somewhat random doors, I can't remember the exact arrangement now, but they're very particular in the final design. And they don't, they don't do a lot either in the book or in the film, so there's always a sense there's hidden mysteries So yeah, very, very complicated character, but he's also got some little snorkel for breathing. Yeah, very complicated character, but essentially a ball, a ball with some things attached to it. So that's the last thing. Oh yeah, I forgot little eyes. There they are. Very excited and curious. <laughs>